Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new weekly vlog. I'm so excited for this one because I feel like last week I didn't do it because I did like a vlog for just like a couple days and then we went to Big Bend and Marfa and so I just kind of like split it all up for like travel vlogs and everything and those should be up by the time you watch this. So if you guys are interested in checking those out, I'll have those linked down below. We did the whole glamping situation and I actually really liked it. Like it brought me back to my Girl Scout days and just smelling the campfire and I don't know it just gave me like a really good feeling and I would definitely do it again I mean it was great to just do it for I think we went for like two days I think three nights um and that was like the perfect time because when I got back home I was like oh I'm glad to be back home but it was really really fun um but today is Monday gotta get back to work because last week we drove down to Big Bend on like Wednesday night so I kind of had like a half work week even though I was kind of working out there but I am really excited because I hired an assistant. I think I said that in another vlog, but it's official. Last week we had like our first official call, but honestly, I was just so scatterbrained because I was just about to leave for my trip and I just wanted to have like an actual in-depth call where I can show her in depth about Amazon influencers, like to know it and all that kind of stuff and just give her like the full on rundown. So that's what we're doing in T minus 10 minutes. I honestly still feel a little bit scatterbrained, but that is why I hired her because I just need someone to like, first of all, keep me accountable of like the things I need to do. Second of all, keep my life organized. I'm going to ask her if she knows how to do like stuff on Notion because I've been seeing it all over my TikTok page and I love to get organized, but I'm, I can't figure out how to use it. Like it just seems like it has such a learning curve. So I wonder if she could like set it up for me. I'm not sure how long this meeting will go, but I feel like it might be long just because I feel like I'll have so much to say. Um, and then I actually had a grad shoot this morning. Let me just run you down my morning routine today. So I got up, I woke up at 5.55 a.m., got to the gym by 6.15. I usually walk five miles, but today I cut it a little bit short. I think I did like four miles or something um, just because I wanted to take a shower before I went to my grad shoot. I was going to do it a lot earlier because like obviously you don't want to shoot when the sun's like right on top of your head but last night it actually rained so it was really really just like dark and gloomy this morning so i was like hey we should just push it back an hour or two so we started at 8 30 it was so freaking cold outside and i have another shoot later today hopefully it's not that cold i think it's like gonna be a few degrees warmer so hopefully it does a lot but after the shoot i got my eyebrows done and they actually look amazing if you're in austin i go to hollywood beauty on riverside there's a hollywood brows in east austin and that is a no-go they fucked up my brows and we do not stand them we don't go there anymore so always go to hollywood beauty on riverside they're awesome i feel like whenever i get my brows done i make sure to say like just clean them up like i'm trying to grow them out to make sure that they don't take off like too much you know then i went to the heb on riverside because the H-E-B in East Austin sucks. They are literally always out of everything and I just found out that it's not a super H-E-B or something. I didn't even know that there were like two different types, but that one makes sense now. So I went to the Riverside one and I literally think that my new hobby is going grocery shopping and just spending money on groceries and that needs to stop because sometimes I just let things expire and it's horrible like today I decided okay I'm gonna get the already cut up strawberries so that I can be encouraged to actually like eat them because the last strawberry thing I had like obviously I ate some but then half of them went moldy and bad but also we just went on a trip. So that is why I kind of went ham on the groceries because we'll be here for a while. And then I came home and tried out some Kodiak pancakes. I've always wanted to try them and they're not bad. And I also got turkey bacon because I've been wanting to try that out as well. It smelled like bacon. Definitely wasn't the same texture as like the fattiness of bacon, but it still hit the spot. I'm here at my desk about to get on this call and I'm honestly very curious to see when I will be like crashing because I feel like last night I went to bed pretty late. Usually I go to bed at like 10.30, like I don't know, I fall asleep really early usually. Um, but I went to bed really late because I was playing on my phone and I was just like sending out contracts for grads and everything on my computer and I woke up pretty early and I've just been go, go, go. So hopefully I don't hit that like midday slump just because I feel like I have a lot to do today. But if I do, 
I'm going to reward myself with a power nap. I've decided because I've been pretty productive this morning. Um, this weekend is South by Southwest. It's the start of it. And I've literally waited what feels like my whole life because when we moved here to Austin in 2019, we moved in June. So the next South by Southwest was going to be the 2020 March. Yeah, March of 2020. And of course, COVID shut it down. I think it was like one of the first events to get shut down by COVID. And I was heartbroken because I wanted to go so bad. So this year it's happening. And I actually got invited to a couple events. So I'm really excited about that. I'll be vlogging on the weekends and even next week. It goes into next week too. So hyped about that. I haven't bought like the wristband because I heard you can get into a lot of things for free. So I'm hoping that's true because I really want to experience it. I'm gonna stop talking so I can prepare for this meeting really quick, get my thoughts together and everything like that. And I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I fall asleep anywhere and anytime I can. <laughs> it's so bad, that but- small because I've been struggling with that bit. See, yeah, I, I think it's a blessing and a curse. But I, when, it, when I fall asleep on my phone, like my, my hand rests on my phone apparently it sends the fucking tiktoks to other random people that like oh follow me boy. back i follow them and they're usually like other content creators and i'm like this is so embarrassing because it then the next morning i find out and i'm like i'm so sorry i sent that in my oh sleep dear. and it like sounds like a lie but it literally sent it in my sleep <laughs> it's so oh weird. my god that's so funny okay so i'm ready <laughs> So yeah, you might get a random TikTok for me. Ooh, good to know. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, is there anything else? And I guess maybe we should like possibly prioritize the media kit then. Did I send everything to you? You did need the, the colors. I, I use them for okay. most of the, like any- Wait, any? can we go over the like to know it post? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. It's quite a bit later now, but our call went on for like an hour or so. And we just did like a deep dive into pretty much everything that I wanted to show her. So I think we're all set up and I'm really, really happy to just like have her because I feel like she's going to help me a lot, especially going into grad season when I'm going to be a little bit overwhelmed. I can give her some stuff so that I don't have it all on my plate. Speaking of grad season, I am importing the photos that I took this morning and then I'm going to go edit last week's grad session. Um, usually I don't wait this long to edit, but I was camping, so I didn't really take on my laptop that often. So that is what I'm doing right now and I just feel like my stomach is an empty hole because I feel like I'm just always hungry or just wanting to eat like I'm not even hungry. I tried to eat gum to like not feel hungry but it didn't really work but i do need energy for my next shoot which is at five it's almost about to be four right now and i usually like to leave like 20 minutes early at least usually like 30 minutes just so i could like sit in my car for a couple minutes chill out and maybe like upload something on my phone or just do like work on my phone um but today's been such a productive day and i'm so happy about it um and tonight well, this weekend actually, we went to H Mart and got sushi grade fish. And I think tonight we're gonna try to make spicy tuna, wait, spicy, tu spicy tuna crispy rice, yeah. And I've seen it all over TikTok and it looks so freaking good. Update, we just rescheduled tonight's shoot for Thursday morning. Usually I don't reschedule shoots if it's just like gloomy, but it is actually so cold outside that like, I don't even want someone else to be like without layers you know and obviously if they're taking grad pics they'll probably be in like a dress and not a coat so we rescheduled and hopefully it gets a little bit warmer but i know apparently this weekend it's supposed to be freezing which sucks because i'm going to a couple of events for south by southwest and i had a whole cart ready to purchase full of like summery dresses and just like really nice spring clothes and stuff like that and then ryan told me that it was supposed to freeze this weekend and i was like are you kidding me so i have not purchased anything yet but i think i might still because like literally two days later it's supposed to get warm and that whole week is still south by southwest so and i feel like you know it's spring there's gonna be more events
morning from a gloomy Tuesday here in Austin. It's currently 9 a.m. We're in the line for Starbucks. Ryan's gonna get something and then we're gonna head over to the airport because we're finally getting our TSA pre-check appointment done and hopefully we get approved. I've never really heard of anyone not getting approved, but um, I'm really excited because it's just been on my to-do list for a very long time and we're going out of the country in April so I just kind of wanted to get it done and possibly get that global entry thing I'm not really even sure what it is but I think it's like just makes customs and getting back to the US a little bit easier and the lines go quicker so just trying to be as efficient as we can while traveling because I feel like I don't get like too much anxiety about traveling but airports and just like flying is not my favorite thing just because it's like I don't know it just is stressful almost like what if you miss your flight what if the security line is too long and like you're rushed you know what I mean so I just feel like I'm always flustered in the airport and I just want to make that a little bit more seamless um, I did purchase clear this year and I haven't really used it much because right after I bought it literally like the two airports that I went to did not have clear and I was like awesome so that kind of like pushed me to want to get TSA pre-check because I think every airport has TSA also yesterday I think I mentioned that I was going to um, make spicy tuna crispy rice for dinner and I totally forgot to vlog it honestly I don't even know what my mind was doing because I think I forgot to vlog after we went to the park with Sophie so I'm really sorry about that but I will include a little video I made for my Instagram stories I think that's probably why I forgot because I was just like too focused on filming it for that so so I'm gonna insert it here. Because it's a gloomy day, I rescheduled all my shoots to tomorrow and then like Thursday. So I pretty much have a full day of possibly working on my computer. I did want to film some content, but I think it's going to be an admin day. The appointment took less than 10 minutes. It was super easy. I barely said anything. Um, and apparently it takes one to 60 days to process the TSA pre-check. And we would love to have it before we like actually travel, which is definitely sooner than 60 days. So hopefully we get it soon. TSA pre-check is good for five years and it's only $85. And I actually wanted to get it because the new business credit card that I got, it was the Chase Southwest card. It actually gives you a credit to get it. So I'm gonna get like reimbursed for getting TSA pre-check. So it's pretty much free for me. I also found out that global entry is a totally separate thing. So I have to go on their site, apply, and then set up an interview with them. So that kind of sucks because I thought it was like, kind of just like an add-on, you know, when you go to TSA PreCheck, but good to know. Also, I forgot to mention that they did take a photo and I was pretty much slugging and it looked horrible because there was like a flash and I literally look like I'm sick in the photo. I asked to retake it and the retake was probably even worse, so. Amazing. Today I'm actually trying to film like almost like what I eat in a day, but just like trying new healthy snacks because there's just so many things I've been wanting to try out. And I feel like I always save all these TikToks and tell myself I'm gonna make them, but I never do. So I wanted to just do them all in one day and like film it for you guys. But I got a PR package from Urban Decay and I thought I would open it with you guys. So it's their Wild by Nature collection. Um, looks like it comes with a mascara and an eyeshadow palette. So let's see. I feel like I haven't done a beauty video in a while and I definitely need to do like an updated get ready with me. Not that like many products change. Like I feel like I have a couple new ones that I would like to share with you guys. Okay, what the heck. Oh, whoa. <laughs> These are all the colors. 
these greens are really pretty and it also comes with this mascara and i've been wanting to try out just like different mascaras to see what's out there so i'm excited to try them both part of me really wanted to skip my makeup routine today and just not wear makeup but it is like the only day that i don't have a grad shoot and so i was like mm, i should probably do some kind of like content maybe film a video or something um but i also have so much computer work to do so I don't even know what the heck I'm doing. And I'm also filming like a cooking video throughout the day, like I said, so got a lot to do. But I'm looking at it as a good thing because sometimes when I don't have like a lot of like deadlines to do, like I always have random things to do on the computer, but if they're not like, you gotta get this done by this date, then I tend to procrastinate a little bit and then I have time for naps and it's just not the best although like a power nap is really not the worst like honestly i always give myself so much shit if i take a little quick nap but i need to stop doing that because honestly it's not like i'm going to be productive if i'm just so tired you know and i'll probably be like way more productive if i actually just take a nap and then get it over with and then feel rejuvenated um but I thought we could try this palette out. I'm like very intrigued by the greens. I'm not sure how well they're gonna pick up on my like skin color, but might as well try. I'm just gonna set my eye with the earth side color. This is what it looks like on my finger. I'm not sure how pigmented it really is on the lid because you know how sometimes it can be a little bit different but obviously Urban Decay like eyeshadow is like you know very iconic so I feel like it would be okay should I do it on my lids? I kind of want to <laughs> now that it's on my finger I'm like ooh pretty okay let's try it Yellow. let me just get a mirror so I can see it better Okay, it's kind of there. I wonder if a brush would be better. Ooh. I feel like sometimes when I blend out the colors, when they're like matte colors, then they like just don't look like anything. So maybe I should just like pat it on. Should we go on with some glitter while we're here? <laughs> okay, so there's two like really pretty. Actually, yeah. This is... A green, it looks like a green to me, but now it looks like a silver. And then this is the other green. Can you see it's sparkly? I think I'm gonna do the darker green. I changed my mind. I think I'm gonna go with the gold right here. And just put a little bit on my lid. I don't want it to overpower the green though. We'll try it out. Let's do it. Will I regret this later on? I just feel like I'm always playing it safe with my makeup. But I feel like this looks cool. I feel like it looks a little bit more green with the gold on top. I like it. Here's the final look. Green eyes, very different for me. Um, I definitely would have preferred maybe like a more nude lip, but this is what we're working with. I know it's gonna wipe off in like literally 30 minutes, so it's totally fine, but I kinda like it. Oh my gosh. I just got flowers from Sunday Riley. And I cannot believe I'm saying that because that is like one of my dream brands. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. It's International Women's Day. I was actually at Kappa Delta and they celebrated like International Women's Day. These are so pretty, literally like all my favorite flowers, hydrangeas, roses, these are stunning. I am sh so shook. Guess we don't have to buy flowers for the next two weeks. My tulips were wilting and I was about to replenish them, but I don't have to anymore. So pretty. It's a bit later and I wanted to give you guys an update on just like the day in general. So I hired a video editor and I'm so freaking excited just to like get this started because I didn't really want to admit it, but I feel like I do need help and I'm just very, very blessed and 
like grateful that I can hire an assistant and a video editor and I'm just really really excited to just feel the benefits of it too just you know kind of taking a little bit off my plate and everything like that so that's really exciting and then also I've just been getting like some emails about south by southwest events and it's so funny because like it literally is happening well it's starting this weekend and then goes into like the next weekend but it's crazy how last minute these events are you know what I mean or like at least they're, that they're sending out invites I guess if it's next week it's not that last minute but like I'm a planner girl so it it kind of is last minute to me just because if you are holding an event you obviously have to like plan for the venue ahead of time like you can't get the venue like a week before so it's just kind of crazy to me like I always hear people when um I watch like New York Fashion Week vlogs they're like I get my schedule the day before and I'm like I feel like that but I don't know maybe I'm being a little dramatic but it's exciting because then that means maybe even more opportunities are coming my way um and they just haven't gotten to my inbox yet so that's cool I was planning on doing my hair and everything and like doing content but I just have a lot of stuff to do on the computer still honestly and it turned out to be such a pretty day outside. I haven't actually went outside, so I don't know if it's cold or what, but it's blue skies and sunny, and it was supposed to be really disgusting today and actually raining. And I literally rescheduled both of my grad clients to other days. They were originally supposed to go on today. So I just hate how Austin's weather is just so wishy-washy because yesterday's shoot got rescheduled, but we literally went to the park and it was beautiful. And it would have been such good lighting. Ugh made me so sad. <laughs> okay, so we're watching The Bachelor and Clayton's being so mean to Susie. Like, I'm on Susie's side. You have anything to say over there? Me? Yeah. I mean, she kind of mentioned it earlier. I know, but like still, I don't know, he was being so mean to her. If you like went to the store and I said, and I didn't say anything, came home, and I was like, I thought you'd go there and not buy anything. That's a deal breaker. We're done. You get going to the store. Like, what do you Ryan. Do? It's literally fantasy suites. That's okay, yeah, but I feel like, I guess, like, in past Bachelor um, seasons, like, I feel like, that was like either they don't really talk about that they did it, or they don't do it. Or maybe they probably did, and I didn't know. But I'm saying, like, why do you have to sleep with them all if you know you're in fucking love with Susie? Like, so you thought not all of them. Oh my god, no. He's like, being so mean. To a car dealership and bought a car. Poor you know, Susie. Like, he bought a car. Poor but, Suki. You know, I'm on your side, I Susie. I get it, though. I mean, I'm on her side, too, but she could have mentioned it. Mm-mm. Mm no? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Happy Wednesday. This morning, I did my workout like usual. If you guys don't know, I'm not sure I said it in this vlog, but I'm trying to walk at least five miles every single day on the treadmill. And I'll just usually do like a three incline. Sometimes I'll lower it to one, just depends on like how much energy I'm really feeling like exerting that day. But I am feeling so good. I think I've been doing it for about like two weeks now, at least like the five miles. But I used to do like Monday, Wednesday, Friday workouts, just like weight training and stuff. I just feel like walking is just so easy because you don't really have to think about it. You can be on your phone. It's literally like my me time, just like scrolling through TikTok or doing other things, watching YouTube videos. I feel like I never have time to watch YouTube videos anymore. So that is like my time to watch all my favorite people. It takes me a little under two hours to walk five miles and then today I tried to like speed up and see how fast I can go so I could probably get it down to like one hour and 30 minutes I don't know but I'm not really trying to make it something I dread and not that I did dread 12 3 30 and I kind of want to get into like why I stopped um but I just feel like it was a lot of like work for just like 30 minutes like you were powering through for 30 minutes and it's great if you don't have that much time and just like to get your workout in in 30 minutes it's a great workout if you don't know what it is it's 12 incline three speed for 30 minutes but it kind of got to a point where i was just like i can't even like scroll on my phone because i'm like literally like trying to just hold on or not hold on and like not fall over <laughs> so i thought let's just like kind of like go for longer and then 
lessen the incline and obviously I burn more calories because I'm doing it for longer and I can't remember but Ryan was trying to explain it to me where you have like a resting heart rate I can't even remember I don't even want to say it because like I don't know if it's correct but basically you can calculate the number at which you're like burning calories or burning fat I'm not sure which one it is um so you can calculate like that heart rate number um so I kind of like figured maybe I don't have to be like you know killing myself through this 12 3 30 workout I can like just walk at like a good pace but still be you know burning fat so that's kind of like the mentality I'm doing now and I'm trying it out but I'm really feeling good and like I have been doing it for a little bit now, but I'm starting to kind of like feel the results when I wake up. I just feel like a little bit tight and toned. Not that I like am saying I really look it in the mirror, but even my sister, I was talking to her last night and she was like, did you like lose so much weight? And I was like, no, like absolutely not. I literally wake up every morning and look at the number on the scale, which is probably not good for me, but I do it anyways because I'm kind of just like interested to see if I'm losing any weight. But anyways, she was like, yeah, you look like you lost so much weight. And I was like, I like don't know what you mean, but thank you. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, I, I think I can see it like a lot more in your face. And I was like, I will take that because like when your face starts looking snatched, you know, like it's going to like be good. And I have a trip in a month that I just want to look so good for. And I remember... When I was doing 12 3 30, we went to we went on like a little beach trip in Galveston, which is like not too far away from here. I feel like it's four or three hours. Um, but we went to Mustang Island and this sounds like so weird, but I was just like taking so many pictures of myself because I felt so good about myself. Like I was like, I did not realize I looked this good in a bikini. I was just like feeling myself that trip and I just want that feeling back more than anything. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys and I'm just like feeling really good about it and I'm like excited to wake up at like 6 a.m. So it's it's been good. Um, but today is Wednesday. Like I said, I have a headshot shoot that I have to leave here in like a few minutes. I have to pack up my bag really quick. It's just a 15 minute shoot and we're going to go do it at the East Austin Hotel. I'm pretty sure this guy works for Oracle because he needs like just a white background. And I wish more than anything that I had a house that I could have a studio in because that would be so cool. But unfortunately I don't. So we have to use the outside, which is totally fine because I'm more of like a natural light photographer anyways I don't use a lot of flash I don't do a lot of studio shoots although there is this one studio shoot I did recently I actually put it in a vlog um, a couple vlogs ago and I'm obsessed with the photos and I really want to do a studio shoot for myself because I feel like I just need branding photos um, but majority of the time I shoot outside which can also be kind of annoying because the weather can be super rainy like I said on Monday I had to reschedule with someone yesterday was like really gloomy in the morning and then in the evening it was fine and it's just like so wish-washy but with a studio even if it's rainy the lighting is actually pretty good in the studio so one of these days i'm gonna have a house with a studio inside mark my words quick check in to say that i'm editing my marfa video right now and i wanted to get it done by noon but it is literally already noon it's just crazy because sometimes i think like video editing really doesn't take that long but it actually freaking does especially when i'm trying to add like cute little graphics and all of that kind of stuff and, and since this is a travel vlog i want it to be you know a little bit better quality than just like my weekly vlogs so trying to give a lot of effort to it um it'll definitely be up by the time you guys watch this video so go check out my two travel vlogs that i just posted big bend and marfa also i'm not really sure why i'm still in my jacket i'm pretty sure the heat's on my house but it just feels so comfy and I don't want to take it off. I edited a couple of galleries, but I just feel like this vlog took me so long. I don't know why. It is currently 3.15. I have a shoot at 4.15, which means I have to leave like 30 minutes before. And I think I need like a break. I think my brain needs to just chill for a second and just take some time because like sometimes when I just like nonstop work like this, I feel like I go into zombie mode and I don't even feel like life's real so weird to say but 
I just definitely need a break. So I think I'm going to like chill on the couch, maybe like watch some TikToks, reward myself for working hard today, and then leave. Got to get my camera bag ready, and then we'll be good to go. Smile. <laughs> The shoot went so well. They were such a sweet couple and Jennifer actually watches my videos. So shout out to her. Um, it was so fun and we actually shot at a new location, actually two new locations. First we did the Butterfly Bridge, which I've shot at. And then we did like the long center, like Vic Mathias. But then we went to, I think it's like Butler Park. I think, I think that's what she called it. Um, but it was really cool. It had like a really cool city view. And then lastly, we ended at a parking garage, which honestly, parking garage shoots are underrated. Like they turn out so cool, especially with the whole city in the background. I was on the way home. I called Ryan and he was like, what's for dinner? And I was like, we can make green curry. We bought this tofu. We have mushrooms. We have food at home. But of course he was like, maybe we should just get pizza. And I was like, are you kidding me? Literally, we bought so much food. We have to eat it before it goes bad. But then I was like, well, if you're getting pizza, like I'm gonna have to eat it because I'm gonna be mad that I'm not eating it. So we ended up actually ordering Spicy Boys. And I feel like I talk about it in every weekly vlog now because I'm getting it very often, <laughs> but it's so good. It's just like a fried chicken sandwich, but like more of like an Asian twist on it. And like the, the what's it called? Tater tots are so good and it's just, yum so i'm very excited about it um it's currently 6 43 i'm gonna go home upload the photos and then probably do some more work because i just have just i don't know just so many things to do a running freaking to-do list and um i'm also getting so many like random emails for south by southwest like i'm just like what it's all so last minute. I mean, I already talked about this, but it blows my mind. It's literally next week and it's just crazy. I don't know, but I will say I'm really going to manifest running into Claudia Slusky. She is a YouTuber that I've been watching since I was, I don't even know how young, like so young. And then she started dating Phineas. Is that how you say it? Phineas? <laughs> I always used to say Phineas and Ferb, so, but I know it's like Phineas. <laughs> um, and Phineas is Billie Eilish's brother, and it's just so cool. I actually saw Billie Eilish perform at ACL, and I'm pretty sure um, Phineas was there, so that was really cool. But I know that her, like, first movie, I don't know if it's her first, but one of her first bigger movies is coming out and premiering on in South by Southwest, so... I'm manifesting or bumping into her in Austin. Just putting that out there. <laughs> Best tater tots on this planet. Got my fried chicken sandwich. I get the OG. About to dig in. Morning, it is Thursday. It's currently 7 a.m. And I just pulled up to UT and I have two shoots in the morning and two shoots in the evening. And I have a call with my video editor right after I get home. And today is just going to be super busy. Probably going to be looking like this all day, to be honest, because I also have to fit in my workout today. Hopefully I can do it because I usually, like when grad season comes around, like last year I was doing 12, 3, 30 before it. And then I told myself, okay, like I'm walking around the campus, which is kind of hilly. Like I'm getting in a workout here, so maybe I don't have to work out on the treadmill, but I just kind of want to be really consistent and, you know, burn even more calories. So I'm going to try my hardest to stick to my workout plan, even though I have, you know, grad season going on and just like a lot going on. Yesterday I was really productive, felt really good. And today I have to get just even more stuff done. I, I still have to do some things for my taxes. Ends up that I didn't do like a couple of things and I thought I was done with them. So still got to do those, but We'll get it done today and we're gonna have a good day. I'm back home and both of my shoots this morning went so freaking well. It was cold out, but also really nice out. Like it wasn't too cold and you know, my clients weren't sweating. I wasn't sweating. We weren't uncomfortable. It was just like perfect. And the lighting was amazing. I think like the first time I did grad photos, I tried to do morning sessions because at UCF I did morning and evening, but at UT the sun is kind of weird on the campus. Like. I don't know it just like comes in all over the place I don't know how to describe it so like 
it's kind of hard like for example the iconic blue door if you guys know what i mean um at ut it's very harsh light in the morning like there is no shade that comes on it so that is like a completely no-go but there is a blue gate that we did this morning and it honestly looked better than the blue door in my opinion um but I tried morning sessions when I first got here in Austin and I did not like them. I kind of wrote them off because that morning session was just so humid and just like the lighting wasn't right. I think I maybe started a little too late and obviously just like being so gross and wet is just a disgusting feeling. But anyways, today went so well and I think I'm going to try to do morning sessions a little bit more and just like show people that it's not horrible um because the lighting was actually stunning like i was obsessed so i'm very excited to upload these pictures which is what i'm going to be doing now and then in just a couple of minutes i have a call with my video editor that i just hired this week and my assistant's going to be joining and apparently she has an assistant too so we're all going to go on this call to talk about intros for my vlog i'm really excited because i think she's going to help me try to create some kind of like an intro that's you know my style and just talk about like little pop-ups on my video i don't know if you guys like that but i think it's cute sometimes so i want to see what she comes up with and just like give her my vibe maybe go through some pinterest inspo and all that i'm going to pull up pinterest um but yeah that's happening in three minutes and then after that i'm going to make myself some breakfast because i'm already starving and it's almost 10 a.m and then I'm gonna do some work on the computer. I'm so happy because I actually posted a sponsored piece of content yesterday and this morning I woke up and it's going viral. So it's awesome because especially when it's like a brand that you're working with, like you want to like have a piece of content that performs well. So I'm very, very happy about it. And honestly, like those TikToks were so fun to make. It was for my Samsung projector. I think I showed it to you guys. It's called the Freestyle and it is so fun to play with and just like use because it has like all the streaming apps. Obviously this is not sponsored. I actually like genuinely like love that thing. And I wanted to take it to Big Ben, but we forgot it. Um, Cause I thought that would be really cool to just like watch a movie and like our little TP. So I'm really excited to send over those analytics to the team but i have one minute to get on this call so i gotta go okay so for breakfast i think i'm gonna keep it simple and just do sourdough with some butter because that sounds kind of good right now and the last time i bought sourdough it went bad so fast so i'm trying to eat it really fast um but also today i want to probably put on new press-ons my nails look like shit right now and they're pissing me off because they're all like jagged and stuff i could file them down but i want to like do it all at one time like file buff put on fake nails and get on with my day i think i'm gonna do like green ones this time because st patty's day is thursday next week um and so that could be fun because i bought them from static nails and i don't know what else i would wear green nails also i apologize because this week i feel like i have been just looking like crap and i don't know i, I think there was like one day that i put on makeup but I didn't even do my hair at all this week, it feels like. And I'm just saying that like this month is like the start of my busy season. And then like April, May is still grad season. So, Sophie. So it is pretty busy and I feel like this is what I'm going to be looking like more often. But I guess this is just kind of what I look like realistically. Um, but gonna get some sourdough out and then i love this butter i'm pretty sure i put it in a vlog in the past but my mom showed it to me it's vegan and not that i'm vegan but i don't know i just really liked it when she put it on her sourdough bread and she gave it to me so now i buy it and i'm pretty sure like only target sells it which is kind of odd since i have four shoots today i decided to take a liquid iv um this is like one of the best flavors, at least that I've tried, which I haven't really tried many, but it's the tangerine flavor. I do have a code for them, so I will link the site down below and the code down below as well as on the screen if you guys are interested. Um, but it just kind of gives you a little bit of boost, like a little bit of energy. I don't know, it just makes you feel like a hundred times better. Not that I'm like feeling crappy right now, but, but I'm trying to use it as a preventative because I feel like I'm gonna crash anytime soon, to be honest. Last night I was so freaking tired and to be honest I feel like I'm kind of scared of this grad season just because I remember it how exhausted I felt last year 
so this year i'm trying to do a little bit less like i'll have like two shoots a day instead of three not today obviously but like in the evening last year i tried to book as many sessions as i could where the light was like still you know not right over the head like it would be like a little back here um so i tried to book like as many as i could get in so it would be like a three hour shoot or like three one hour shoots or like a two hour shoot with a one hour and a half shoot and it was just a lot like physically just from my back and just like standing up for that long i mean it sounds stupid but it's just like you're walking around campus for a long time and it's just exhausting that's all i can say about it i'm very very lucky though because this year i don't have my corporate job so it's not like i'm really going from like work to work i mean it yes i am because i still am working the whole day but you guys know what i mean a corporate job is just so mentally draining sometimes um, so i'm very grateful that i'm just like you know doing my own thing this year but still it's just like very physically draining um and i need to figure out like a new content schedule um because if i'm having like morning shoots and afternoon shoots then like i feel like i don't have like too much time in between and then i have to like fit in a workout somewhere i'm just rambling right now just feeling a little chatty but i'm gonna eat my breakfast and then do some computer work i am a mess <laughs> look at me i know i'm gonna like edit this and be like what the fuck <laughs> uh i just took a nap and it's so funny because I actually just started editing this vlog and I was talking about it in the beginning of the week that I was like you know I shouldn't be so hard on myself if I need like a quick little power nap and today I was kind of trying to avoid it and just like talking bad about naps and uh, of course literally 50 minutes later I'm like on the couch working and I just fall asleep I was like you know what we're taking a nap so I set my alarm and I definitely feel a lot better Ryan actually made me coffee which I don't usually drink coffee but today I freaking needed it there's not time to work out because I was trying to edit my video and then it just all of a sudden got to two o'clock and I have to leave at 2 50. I literally feel like I just got home from my morning shoots um but I know every day is not going to be like this because usually I don't really book morning shoots but now I kind of want to because the light was so good this morning I know not every morning is going to be like that but maybe I can like book a couple more morning shoots and obviously that would just like free up some more slots if people want to book me my first couple of weeks in my life so i was like i'm gonna do my makeup every single day because that just makes me feel more productive which it really does and look at me now i'm pretty sure i only put on makeup once this week <laughs> and i really wish i did it more but sometimes i have the mentality that like if i have makeup on i need to do content which i guess this is content but like meaning like tiktoks and and be on instagram stories and stuff like that and then so if i don't do that then i feel like a failure I don't know, I feel like I'm just like beating myself up this week and it's only the start of grad season. Like I was just on the phone with my friend and I was telling her that I was exhausted and just thinking that it was like literally only the beginning. In this moment, I really have to think about how grateful I am to even have these shoots and to have people that want to book me. I mean, I worked my butt off. I would say that my photography business is established in Austin and at least just like around like UT for like being a grad photographer. And I'm just so, so blessed that people are starting to like hear my name. And every year I get more referrals from the previous year and it just makes my heart so happy. So I really do have to like think of how grateful I am in these times even though I'm exhausted um but that doesn't mean I'm not a mess this morning it was super cold outside and now it's 70 degrees outside so we get to dress in shorts I think we're gonna do some shorts and then what else do we have I feel like I don't have enough cute like flowy athletic tops I definitely want to be on the lookout for those because I'll be totally honest I love 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 set active and sometimes I well, actually, most of the time I feel really confident in them in my own house. But then when I go to the gym and, you know, I just feel a little bit insecure. So I want something that's like f more flowy on the top so that I can just like do my workout and feel my best while, you know, being sucked in. So I want to find more flowy athletic tops and I'll let you guys know if I find any. I'll probably go on Amazon and just like search because I feel like Amazon has such good athletic stuff 
for very affordable prices. And I'll link my storefront down below, but I have a category that says activewear. And I do have like a lot of pieces from them, but since I'm working out more often, I feel like I go through them a lot more. So this is another sign that I'm a mess because I never go a day without making my bed, but I just am not going to today. I'm just gonna let it go and just go to my grad shoot. But got my outfit on. I actually went with this Nike um, top that I'm literally obsessed with. It makes me look so snatched. I thrifted this and I love thrifting athletic tops too because they're such good quality. They're such good brands. And the prices are awesome. Then I have my set active leggings on and then I'm just gonna wear probably my Hoka sneakers. So good to go. Got my braid on that I did this morning. Looking like Freaking Bozo the Clown. <laughs> I'm done with shoots until next Monday. I actually only have two shoots next week because I wanted to keep my schedule as open as possible for South by Southwest because like I said, it's so last minute that I'm getting like invites and everything like just event wise. So I wanted to just have my schedule open for any opportunities that come my way because, because I didn't really want to reschedule anyone. So, and anyways, it's spring break for UT students. So I don't think anyone really wanted to have their shoot, but I do have like two in the morning. But I was on my way over to where we're having dinner and I was thinking like, okay, I feel bad because we're getting dinner out again tonight. I do have a lot of groceries at home. I'm trying to eat healthy. I kind of have this like feeling of guilt every time I do something unhealthy because I do vlog and I do talk about it on TikTok and I do like talk about my fitness stuff on Instagram and I just need to realize, well, I'm realizing now that it's like actually so realistic. Like some people have cravings, like we're getting sushi. We're here at Sushi Janai and it's like one of my favorite places because you can do all you can eat sushi, but it's a really good deal. It's like $32 and you can can get whatever so we usually get nigiri but that's besides the point what i'm trying to say is that like i need to stop trying to justify everything like it's literally my life i guess i can choose whatever i want to do if i want to eat sushi if i want to eat spicy boys like i can but i'm still working out and i feel like i'm doing more than i did last year you know just any normal day when i'm just sitting on my butt literally not doing anything i don't know i feel like my thoughts are just like so negative because i feel guilty all the time because i'm like talking about you know my health journey and stuff so just wanted to talk about that like we all have cravings and it's so hard to not eat out you know like i live in freaking austin texas like they have such good food here and i'm such a foodie and i also feel guilty for not working out today and I also feel guilty for napping, but it's like whatever works for me, you know, not everyone's routine is the same and I don't know, like something could make me productive and something could make someone else not as productive. What I'm trying to say is do what works for you. Like, do what makes you happy, do what works for you, and don't feel guilty about it. And I need to write that down and like literally read it every day, especially because I publicized my life online but I guess easier said than done, and it's something we're gonna be working on together. <laughs>
happy Friday. We made it to the end of the week. This week was such a mess and I'm very happy it's over, but I spent the morning cleaning up. I went to the gym, did my workout, felt so good. And yeah, I came home, cleaned up, made all the difference in the world just like a lot less stress. I feel like, you know, when I'm busy and like just have so many shoots and just like going to all these different places, I feel like I just throw things everywhere. Place gets so messy and it just does not help. You know what I mean? And I have some friends coming over tonight for a possible pregame. It is so cold outside like really disgusting and cold. South by Southwest events start today. I was actually supposed to go to one at 1 p.m., but I did not realize it was actually today. I didn't put it on my calendar, I don't know why. Um, and I got the email just like too late and I was like, uh, there's no way I can get ready in time. And it was at this like really cool building that I've always like seen. Like I always tell Ryan like, oh my God, that would be so cool to get married there. And I'm so pissed I'm missing it because I wanted to see what the building looks like in person you know tonight i'm going to the opening of the chanel store on south congress it's i'm pretty sure just chanel beauty not like handbags or anything like that but super excited about that i don't have a plus one so i'm going alone to my first south by southwest event and i'm very freaking nervous because i like i don't know who's gonna be there i mean i know a good bit of like other austin influencers or just know of like i could always introduce myself but just like not knowing makes me so nervous. And then I got invited to a locks club event later on in the night. I think it starts at nine. I'm not sure if we're gonna go to that. Originally I had a plus one, I asked for a plus two and then it changed to me wanting a plus four. So we might stick to just the east side. So we'll update you guys along the way. Um, my friend Mia is in town. We met in Atlanta at an Indian function when we were like kids. She moved back to Austin, went somewhere for college and then came back to Austin. And then now she goes to Columbia and New York. So she actually recently moved there in the past year or so. So she's back home. So tonight we're gonna go to the honky tonk apparently. We're gonna try out White Horse. I think it's on the east side, but I've never seen it and never heard of it. Um, but she wants to do it, so we are going out. But I can't get too crazy because tomorrow morning, my uncle's in town actually, and he's not like, actually I don't know if he's that much older than me. I can't remember how old he is. I remember when me and my sister were younger, him and his sister always used to say like, don't call me aunt, don't call me uncle. So there are cousins. But he's coming in town with his wife and hopefully his baby because I haven't met the new baby yet. Um, and so we're gonna meet them for coffee tomorrow. They're gonna be like the first of that side of the family to meet Ryan, which is gonna be fun. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna go to a Dibs beauty event, um, which is gonna be so cool because Courtney Shields is gonna be there. She's like an Austin blogger too. Well, she doesn't really do Austin content. She's more of like a beauty blogger, lifestyle blogger, all that, but she's pretty big here in Austin. And then what else? Um, I wanted to go to the like to know it happy hour. Apparently the founder of like to know it is coming down from Dallas to speak here at South by Southwest. So I want to do that. Got a lot to do this weekend and it sucks because I just want to be inside in bed. But I'm also very grateful that I'm even getting invited to all these cool events, but I need to put on these press on because I said I was going to do them yesterday, but I didn't. And I literally cannot go to Chanel beauty with my nails looking like this little nubs. I bit my nails for the first time in probably years. So I need to like paint them or do something to them so that I don't continue biting them because it's like tempting me. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to put on these nails and then I really want to create some TikToks while I have makeup on. Um, I'm going to leave here at like five. It just turned two or not five. The event starts at six. So probably like 530 ish. Don't want to be there too early, but also um, I told my friends they could come over at like 7 because then we can just hang and like not have to rush. I hate when pre-games are rushed because like my friends are always late anyways. They're usually only pre-gaming for like 30 minutes and then I'm like might as well have just met at the bars. So I said 7 today and yeah, I'm going to try to find my perfect little match for all my nails. I thought I would do this green color because St. Patrick's Day is coming up and I don't know when else I would wear these green nails even though they're really pretty. So let's do it. Nails 
are done. Get a little close up. And I wanted to give an update on what I think about Static Nails versus Alvin June. I think I like Alvin June better just because I feel like they just stay on longer and the first Static Nails that I tried were these like French tips and the French like the white part chipped off pretty easily. Alvin June ones don't really chip. One time when I put on the Alvin June nails, I did have some fall off just because I did it the more temporary way. Like you're supposed to um, put glue on just the nail or just your nail um, if you want it to be temporary. But if you want it to last longer, then you put it on your nail and the nail and both of them have glue on it. So it lasts longer. Um, I also feel like these are just like too thin and whenever i get my nails done i try to do dip or gel because my nails are thinner and i do so much with my hands and i like knock them on everything and i feel like if i do that with these nails like it's just either gonna come flying off or chip so i'm gonna say all vengeance are better but static nail has cooler designs so i think both are great honestly um but that's just my little take on press-ons and there's so many other like brands that i haven't even tried yet i'm just trying to use like kind of what i have and bought and stuff like that first and then i was also thinking like just letting my nails breathe for a while and just painting them like normal nail polish because i kind of miss doing that i did that all quarantine and i got so good at it and it was kind of like fun it was just like my me time like i would do it every week obviously like it wouldn't last like more than a week but it was fun um, but now I'm going to actually get dressed. I put on my Skims robe for the first time in ever. Literally, I bought this on Black Friday and it's just been chilling on my bathroom door and I finally took the tag off and wore it today. And it is actually so comfy. So now that I know that, well, I kind of knew that it like was really soft, but I just feel like I don't really usually wear robes. Um, but now I'm gonna be wearing this thing very often because I really like it. I ended up just doing a lot of computer work because I wanted to feel a little bit less stressed out. So I think I finished all the taxes, but my mom's not answering, so I will find out later. But here is my outfit for the Chanel event. This scarf is from Nasty Gal, I believe. Um, this coat is from Shop Red Dress, and it's actually like under $100. It's pretty affordable for how nice it is and like comfy and just like great for cold days like this. Like it's actually really thick. Um, I'm wearing jeans from Silver Lake Co. and then boots from Dolce Vita. Hopefully I'm warm enough. Uh, we want to go to South Congress and just like shop around a little bit. First ever South by Southwest event. I'm so pumped. We're here on South Congress. I think we're going to go to Lululemon first and then go to Chanel. You like it, Sophie? Look at it, it's hot. It's out, too. We just took tequila shots. I'm Kiana. I'm Maddie. <laughs> I'm Leah. Yay! And then we're gonna go to Rainy and check it out because I think South by Southwest events are happening and we could get some free stuff. So we're gonna just a bitch for free stuff. Yes, exactly. So <laughs> we love the free. <laughs> <laughs> and then we might try to go come back over to the east side. So we'll keep you guys updated. I'll do a little montage of our night. <laughs>
it is the next day and I'm gonna end the vlog here and vlog this whole weekend because South by Southwest is in full swing and last night was so much fun. We went to the Locks Club event first and I didn't even know they had a performer but some girl came over to us and she was like, go to the front, someone's gonna come out and play music and I was like, oh cool. And she was like, yeah, he's like gonna be someone like he's signed by Scooter Braun which is Justin Bieber's manager and like a lot of other people's managers and I was like, what the heck? So we literally like scurried over to the front row and he was actually so freaking good. Then we walked around Rainy a little bit. So where else do we go? We went to Clive Bar, which just opened up. I think it was like an older bar and then they just like kind of like renovated and like added levels, but that was really fun. Um, I can't remember where we went other than those two bars on Rainy. But then we went to the east side and we went to White Horse, which is kind of like a honky tonk. I literally did not even feel like I was in Austin. It was like so weird, <laughs> um, but awesome at the same time. And it definitely gave me Nashville vibes. And I was like, oh my God, this is making me want to plan a girl's trip to Nashville. Cover was $10. I'm not sure if it's like that every night or if it's because a band was playing, um, but it was definitely something worth checking out. And then after that, we went to Volstead, which I've tried to go on a couple of Saturday nights and it just like wasn't really ever the vibe, but I now know that Friday nights are the nights to go to Volstead because it was so fun and they were just playing the best music ever and we were just dancing all night and oh, I love me a girl's night so it was awesome. Don't forget to subscribe because I have a lot more Austin content coming out, South by Southwest content and just weekly vlogs in general. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you guys want to see real-time content over on my Instagram, you can follow me there and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye!